Hey, hey, hey. Estamos aquí. <laughs> there he goes again, talking in tongues. Coon uh, oh. Prairie Ramblers here, circled up and uh, ready to come, uh, talk about things. How would you say Coon Prairie Ramblers in Spanish? El Cuno de Prairio. De, de. <laughs> I have no idea. Coon, there's got to be a word for raccoon. raccoon. It's probably yeah, raccoon. I don't know what it is. Because that's a, that's a, a raccoon. It's, raccoon. No, I'm sure. Whatever it's not prairie raccoon. or field or whatever you yeah. have, you say Pample. prairie. And rambler. If you ramble, Wonder you. Caliente al sol, and me in the playa. Like We're breaking the song now. <laughs> He's talking about the beach. Yeah. <laughs> when the hot sun is on the beach. Hi, baby. I cannot relate. Huh. Yeah. Only thing Spanish. Been, related, I can say is remember the Alamo. Hey, hey, we were talking about vacation. My wife, my Vacations. wife, and my daughter, they're way on a vacation. They're up in Alabama with the banjo. No, no, we're just up in Alabama. Maybe they won't pick a, up the accent. They're at a summer camp, and uh, so I, we're going to talk about writing. Ain't we? Going to call it Segway. So I, I've been wanting. I've had this great desire for the last couple of months to go to the beach, and I'm thinking I'm going to go to the beach while they're gone. I want to take a picture of my feet like my wife always does. Oh, my goodness. Toes She's in the sand. She's always taking pictures of her feet and says, this is my current location. Or, you know. right. People must think a lot of their toes because a lot of them yeah. take no. pictures of their, And some toes are kind I of gnarly looking. I want to in the sand and take a picture of that. Oh. But anyway, it, it, well, on the hot sun, when the, when the hot sun is on the beach, on the playa. Oh, please. Anyway. And Mel's laying there in his Speedo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hey, wait a minute now. Don't put that picture in my oh, head. Yeah, yeah. Okay, really? we were going to talk about writing. Writing. Mel wrote a book. If you haven't heard about it, you're, it's out on audio now, and pretty soon audio the movie's book? going to come out starring George Clooney or somebody. No, I don't want George Clooney. I want to do it myself. Oh, uh, and your own stunts, I want, I want too? To take, uh, get some of that dark stuff and put it in my eyes like George Clooney. Or is he? Is that natural? He's got dark. I don't know. Bags. He's got raccoon eyes? Yeah. I don't Doesn't know. He? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Anyway, you wrote a book. Oh, we're not talking about George Clooney. <laughs> no, we're, we're burning. Well, my book yeah, is burning about, daylight. Program. When I ran away as a little boy from an alcoholic, abusive dad, but I always said it's not a poor me book. It, it's a, an adventure of running away. Ah. You know, it's just I ran away from bad situation, but I, I never wanted to crucify or you know nah. say anything bad about my dad because he's in any way. way too. You know. There you go. And, yeah. and you were telling us uh, during the break that you also have an audio version of this. Yeah, I finally made it through the audio book. It was very scary because I, I had no idea what I was doing, and I thought I was going to mess up because to submit something to Amazon, it's got to be perfect You know, w w when you talk about audio well, I'm books, sure. Because it has to have, you know, like a... All these nomenclatures like uh, four, you know, 192 bits per minute, things like that. And That's too technical this for This parameter, me. that, you know, and and, um, and I thought I was going to blow it. And I heard stories how people got turned down over and over and over again because they couldn't get it submitted to them right. Which is why they hire professionals to read the books right. sometimes. Well, I finally, it, they only, only got turned back, kicked back three times. And usually there was three three items that they you know that they said we had a problem with, and one of them was with the photo. A photo. And I got to tell you about this. You know, my, the photo of my book, the artwork, it's I copyrighted. Could, I couldn't. What I submitted to a Amazon wasn't clear enough, and they kept saying it's got to be clear and it has to be a perfect square. Well, the book's a rectangle. So. <laughs> Somebody, a friend, a friend of mine over in Lake Placid, he says, well, I got this girl, there's this lady over in, Nic uh, over in Nigeria who works for Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. And Fiverr is an app you can go to, and for five bucks, they will fix the artwork the way you want it. Okay. You know, they'll do it. And uh, so I sent this, this cover of my book to this lady in Nigeria, and I communicated with her. I could tell... She could speak. She spoke English, but you know, I could tell there was a uh, some words were missing. You know, right. like, you know, like like she right wasn't. And then I found out later that she actually spoke five languages, and, okay. and English was her least best. Mm -hmm. All right. But anyway, she she kept telling me. She says, Can't, "You got to give me something a little bit clearer to work with." I'm thinking. Well, this is right off the computer. This is, I mean, this is, you know, pick of my book that already, that already exists. And the problem was I had all of the original files. I, I contacted the, the plant or the 
printing place that uh, produced the thing, the book originally, and they said from 2007 and back they had a fire that uh, wiped out all those fires. Lost forever. Oh, wow. So, so you got a different it, picture. It, well, no, it was the same. Well, she said for a, a different price. I could recreate this picture. It wouldn't be 100% perfect, but I could recreate it. Right. You know, I'm thinking, what's that price? And as soon as I wrote, I typed in, what's that price? A big warning thing came up on the screen. Danger, Will Robinson. Warning, danger, warning. danger. You cannot, uh, uh, you cannot talk price with this lady. You know, that's the Fiverr. The Fiverr was telling me that. I'm thinking, how'd they know? Because I wrote in price. Because they're like Erica. They're listening on it all times. So. Oh, gone. So it it came down. What the way I fixed it was, I took I, I had no other I exhausted all my resources. So I took the, the book and I put it on a scanner, and I scanned the picture and I sent that to her. Right. And that worked. And it worked. Okay. Whoops. Long story short. <laughs> long story short. Yeah. When KC was still alive, our fellow Coon Prairie Ramblers Mel started telling us a story about how he's going to record it, and KC and I offered to when he's recording to be in the room and make sound effects and noises and yeah. things like that. But he, he didn't, he yeah, didn't go like for it. We yeah. could have had a lot of fun with that. Yeah. Made quite the adventure. That, but that, that would have been fun, but yes. it would also have been very stressful. It could be a million seller. You never know, especially if it's all done spont spontaneously. I think it means more when the author reads it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The emotion comes yeah. through more. Well, I'm, I'm reading my My mother wrote a book. The reason I wrote my first book was because my mother was 87 years old, and she had written a book, and she was trying to get it published. And you can't get a book published, you know, as a first-time author. When at 87, I decided, well, i got to help her. So I contacted her. I said, Mom, let me uh, send out the quarry letters and, and, and do help you do the, right. you know, the footwork. Man, I tell you, I sent out quarry letter after quarry letter. And, and sometimes they don't respond. A lot of times they don't respond. And when they do respond, they'll say, uh, it's not the right genre. Thanks, but no it's thanks. Not, uh, you know, it's just you know, we're not. That's not what we're looking for. You know, that type of thing. As you say, that sucks. Come back with something else. So I. So then we've turned to print on demand, and I found a, a company. Print on demand. We did, it, we did it that way. Well, so that book inspired me to write my book, and then uh, so now I just last night I recorded the intro to her book. Now the problem is, I'm a guy. My mom's a girl. And you had to talk like this. No, I'm don't let me come in there and rip your face off. Can a guy narrate a book with a woman, with a woman who's narrating? Yeah. Sure, why not? Well, that's what I said. I said, the heck with it. It's my mother's book. I'm going to do it. Let's hear it. Oh, so you just read it? Yeah. Okay. Now, when I get to, like, you know, Grandpa said this or Grandma said this, I might, you know. Assume a voice? Or, yeah. Turn into, like, Walter Brennan? Yeah. Yeah. A voice like. Hansi? Hansi? <laughs> he was always saying Hansi and Earl McCoy's yeah. calling for his niece Hansi. Anyhow. Well, Tanya, yeah. I said it right. Tanya. Tanya's a yes, writer. Yes, you did. Ooh. So how many minutes we got left? Not many. Tanya uh, used to work at the newspaper with me, and she was a writer. Do you write stuff other than that, poetry, or do you journal or anything? Um, Now and then when I have the time and the energy, I do. What sort of stuff? Mostly just reflections involving the kids. Very cool, sort of thing. because you're creating like a time capsule. Right. Do you submit anything to the paper? I haven't in years. Yeah, but but I always date it. I'm always telling big on that. When you write something down, put a date on that. We can trace it back to. If you want to use it for mm -hmm. reference, or mm -hmm. you need to find that date, or you can measure your writing ability. If people are, it's like drawing. I tell people, if you start do if whatever you start when you start to learn to draw. Sketch a lot, date everything. Then over the years, you can mark your progress by right. saying, yeah. this is how much better I yeah, am than I was 10 years ago. You can prove that you're Tanya. When you get old, you get Alzheimer's, and you know, the, yeah. you're, you're right. doubting your... You know, your She'll be reading herself. Oh, wow, out, this is good. Bring out the art, yeah. Yeah, bring you won't know who wrote it, but you'll, you'll be enjoying it. <laughs> For the second and third <laughs> That'll be my luck. 30 seconds left. Boy, this this 10-minute segment... Just frittered it away. A little frittered it away, but we know all about Mel's book. That's all right. <laughs> I look forward to checking 10 minute it out. 10-minute commercial. But I think everybody can read ran away or they wanted to. Or they wanted yeah. to. Anyway, we got to run away right now, but we'll be back in a short with the F-bomb. Y'all stay put. Bye.